Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'll be making a card using an older paper pad from Honey Bee Stamps called Team Tie Dye. And I'll also be using a couple of new dies from the Modern Spring release. I have the Secret Garden cover plate and also Lovely Layers Bugs. And I'll be focusing on the Dragonfly since it's my favorite on the set. I just love the etch detail on all of the bugs. I've gone ahead and cut out the die cut frame using the Secret Garden cover plate. I used some white shimmer cardstock for the frame and also for the background piece. To adhere the frame, I'm using Honey Bee Stamps Tear Tape. This is the 1 8 inch size. And yes, you can actually tear the tape, but my crafty OCD kicks in and I have to use my scissors. I like that clean edge. I'll remove the release paper. Then for the rest of the frame, I'm using Honey Bee Stamps Precision Tip Glue. I won't add liquid adhesive on every little spot, but I'll make sure to get at least a small drop on all of the leaves and stems. That way they won't lift up off the background of the card. This is an A2 size card, five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Once I've applied liquid adhesive on all of those leaves, I can add the background piece. And I found it easier to attach that background, leaving the frame upside down. There was one area where part of that background was peeking out from behind the frame, so I just used my trimmer to clean that up. Then I'll put some ATG tape on the back and adhere my card front onto a card base. And how funny, I'm making one card and I ran out of ATG tape. So I had to stop for a moment and go change the roll. Next, I'll cut out the dragonfly wings. I'm using this beautiful pattern paper from the Team Tie-Dye Collection. For the body of the dragonfly, I used some brown pearlescent cardstock. And the dragonfly is so easy to assemble. You just need a small drop of liquid adhesive underneath the wings to attach them to the body. Using that same pattern paper, I did cut out a second dragonfly. Now I'll attach both of them to my card putting one in the lower left-hand corner and one more on the right side. I like to bend the wings up just slightly so it adds some dimension. When I adhere them to the card, I'm only putting liquid adhesive on the body. So even if you're mailing the card, those wings will lay down nice and flat and fit inside the envelope, but they'll still have that little bit of dimension since they're not attached to the card. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be using the Biddy Buzzwords stamp and also coordinating Honeycut dies. I cut out the word hugs using some dark brown cardstock. Then for the outline, I use some vellum. And I'll just attach those two pieces together using the liquid adhesive. The Buzzword sets are always so fun. You could use the stamp set for the sentiment or you can use the coordinating dies. I love using the dies, especially when you can add that outline. So once I have those two pieces attached, I'll put a very light coat of liquid adhesive on the back, making sure to only place it behind the word hugs. I don't want any of it sneaking out on that vellum because it will be visible from the front of the card. And I also stamped out sending you to go along with the hugs and I'll adhere that right above the word hugs. So now we have sending you hugs. The buzzword stamp sets always have a large variety of different sentiments that you can mix and match. For a little bit of sparkle on the dragonfly wings, I'm adding a gem sticker, and this is from Honey Bee Stamps Back to Basic set. I'll also add some of the true pearls, and there are two different shades of white. There's a cooler white and also a warm white. And on this card, I went with the cool white. And there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. I made two cards featuring the blue and green wings. And then I made another two cards using the same pattern paper, but this time in the pretty pink, orange, and yellow colors. The cards were so fun to make. The dragonfly dies are just my favorite. I've already used them quite a few times. Let me know which color dragonfly you prefer. I think for me, I'm gonna go with the blue and green. 
If you are interested in the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.